Listen, well done um, on Saturday. What was it like to come back after so long out? And I mean, it must have been a really pleasant experience, really good to get back out there and, and do a job as well. Yeah, it was. Uh, pretty nervous leading in um, to the game, obviously. Um, injury early on in the week with Robbie um, going down and then um, wasn't too sure what the what the go was um, and then found out Thursday that um, starting so a uh, bit of a shock but a uh, lot a lot of nerves but uh, yeah it's, it's good to be out there um, playing again I know it's it's been a while um, start of January so um, hence the nerves. You, you didn't look nervous um you didn't look nervous, Charlie. Uh, what did Leo say to you before the match? Um, you know, were you given specific jobs or specific tasks that he wanted you to to, to accomplish? Uh, not necessarily. Um, pretty much just just um, don't really say much. Just do your role. Um, uh, we'll back you um, and and just empty the tank. I know they sort of knew I wasn't going to go the full eighty, so um, the, all they asked was just just give me what you got. Um, so. Yeah, no, they pretty much did. There were some outstanding performances there from, from yourself and some of your teammates. Just um, what's it like to play with Jemison Gibson Park? I mean, does it, does, it, does his style of play mean everything? You know, you have to be more alert or more more on the ball because, just because of the tempo he's playing at. Um, I think he adds another dynamic to, to the game. We sort of try and play. Obviously, we try to um, speed things up. Um, and play with tempo, but at times he's, he's calm enough to slow it down and um, uh, no no one to kick. Um, but he's, he's he's got a lot of experience behind him, um, a lot of um, big games, especially with Ireland at the moment. So he's he's well experienced at the moment. Leinster have been here before. This is obviously your, your first season, but we've been watching on Leinster closely for the last ten years. And um, do you get any sense that? Maybe the team or the management would have hoped for a little bit more from Toulouse, as in we were expecting a closer game, but Leinster didn't seem to be stressed at all on Saturday, which is testament to the quality that Leinster played with. But in terms of building up for a final, was there part of you or, or Leinster that wished you got a, a more severe test? Um, I think we knew it was going to be uh, a hard match, obviously, um, <clears throat> that we've played Toulouse in the last few years, um, and we knew. Um, in terms of the style they play and we play in a, and it's a lot similar um, so we, uh, we we trained for that over the last two weeks um, while the boys were doing an awesome job in Africa um, so the boys stayed behind prep well for that um, knew, knew it's going to be hard it wasn't going to be an easy game um, and um, that, that's all we could could do but, but I mean in terms of preparing I don't know if it's something you want to admit to. It, it, it was similar to last season against Toulouse in terms of they didn't put you under as much pressure as you expected. And how does that set you up going forward? Um, I think it sets up up well, really. Um, the, 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 they, they like to play a high-tempo game. Um, and we know coming up against um, Sharks this week um, and then uh, semi-finals and, and leading into the final that... Um, the pressure rugby that um, teams are going to put you under, um, we've got to prepare for that. And, and Toulouse are a team like that as well, um, where they, they love to offload the ball, they love to put you under pressure, um, force mistakes, and then and then um, try and lift the stand up again. So um, we, we talked about that um, in, in planning for pressure rugby um, in the coming weeks. Um, what about the Sharks? What, what have you what have you identified as the, as the threats of the from the Sharks and they're obviously coming in as eight seeds you guys are top and they're travelling away but where do you see their danger? Um, they're a class outfit as well um, they pretty much they've got a few South African players in their team um, a lot of experience as well they've a real quick quick team they've got speed out in the, in the wings um, physical team so uh, we know um, we played them earlier on in the year um, and that was a tough match physical match and um, we ain't, we were expecting that again. Um, they've they've uh, had the week off, so they've they'll be preparing well for this, and we'll, we know that they're going to come uh, come hunting for us. And you obviously have a very busy schedule ahead over the next month. What do you do, Charlie, to switch off? Can you just tell me some maybe your hobbies? Do you, 
Would you watch the snooker or how do you relax? Oh, I'd love to watch a bit of telly, but um, uh, more, more time is taken up with family, um, looking after the kids, um, running running them around off to their sports and, and that most afternoons um, or, or most weekends. So um, that, that's where pretty much my time um, is um, after this. So yeah, so you see pretty busy um, schedule after rugby. And how have you settled in and how have you found it? Because obviously it's a big switch um, from France as well. Yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, I think it's, for me, it's been pretty easy. Obviously, rugby, um, you, you wake up, shoot, shoot down to training, um, train all day or do what you do. And then um, you get home and, and with the kids and then the family. I think that's the... The hardest, the hardest part is making sure that they're happy. Because if they're not happy, then it sort of puts you under stress as well. Um, so that was sort of my sort of over the last year. I look back and, and making sure that they're happy, then um, it's a lot easier for me to perform. Fashion, thanks, Charlie. Best of luck for the weekend. Cheers. Uh, Charlie, it's uh, Don here. Yeah, well, well, well done on on Saturday. Um, you know, you, you you played for the the All Blacks. You played for for the Maori All Blacks. Um, would you have seen that match as at the test level? Oh, definitely. Um, certainly in the first half, or um, or being out for so long, the the standard that um, both teams were playing at, all the speed. Um, that um, it was a, it was a quick game. I, I know I played. I look back and I play games. Back in New Zealand, especially um, when we played Crusaders, how intense those games were, um, and in the lead up into it um, during the week, and definitely that that's what it felt like um, a test match that you're preparing for a test match, um, even early on in the week. Even even for an ex sprinter, Charlie, it was yeah. Yeah, that that's that, that's a bit different. Um, certainly sprinting. Um, the old butterflies and that going, especially when you're, you're lining up to race. Um, and I know that feeling. <coughs> but um, um, Charlie, I don't know if you, if you, if you saw the Chiefs beat the uh, Crusaders uh, uh, recently, but um, would you say there's been you know, a drop in the level of competition in Super Rugby now, you know, with, with South African teams not, not taking part? Um, I think it certainly has um, in terms of sort of physically. I know um, looking back playing South Africa teams, they bring that sort of phys physicality, that sort of big bodied um, sort of player. Um, they sort of add another dynamic to the uh, to Super Rugby back then. Um, and now playing here in the um, URC, you sort of start to see the comparisons when um, Super Rugby was there when, when the South African teams were, were playing. Um, but they exciting like speed, um, power, strength. So, um, and yeah, like we're starting to see that now. Yeah. Um, how would you compare that with, say, you know, with Toulouse or La, La Rochelle? Uh, you were saying you you prepared for two weeks for for uh, Toulouse. Would you see La Rochelle as being a, a similar package that's coming down the line? Um, I think at this stage we're looking we're taking week by week at this stage um, like we've we've played the semi-final on the weekend um, we've got another final now um, this weekend coming um, and if we start to look too far ahead we we'll sort of uh, lose sort of um, lose or lose this weekend coming so we, we're just planning this weekend and um, hopefully we get the hopefully put our best foot forward um, and then carry that momentum on